Reading. Reading time. 3 minutes. Food irradiation is the process by which certain types of food are subjected to low doses of radiation to render any microorganisms in the food harmless and to improve the food's shelf life. Among the foods that are commonly irradiated are root tubers such as potatoes, tropical fruits like mangoes and papayas, and meat products including poultry and fish. There is a perception among many in the public that irradiating food products is unsafe and harmful, yet both notions are incorrect. Firstly, the products are exposed to low amounts of radiation, which is completely harmless to humans. The radiation is, however, strong enough to damage the DNA of any microorganisms in or on the food. This prevents the microorganisms from causing the food to spoil or from harming those who eat it. In addition, virtually 100% of the bacteria on the food are destroyed in the irradiation process, and so are other pathogens such as viruses and fungi. Another advantage of irradiation is that it slows the process by which food spoils. This allows foods such as tropical fruits to be shipped great distances from where they are grown to markets all over the world. Resultantly, farmers in Southeast Asian countries can sell fresh produce to consumers in the United States and Europe. Irradiation also gives food a greater shelf life once it reaches supermarkets. Thus food neither rots nor spoils if it is not sold promptly. Finally, foods suffer hardly any losses in their nutritional value when they are exposed to radiation. In fact, the change is negligible. So while the microorganisms, bacteria, and other pathogens are eliminated. The foods retain the same amounts of vitamins and minerals. The end result of irradiation is food products that are safer, longer lasting, and high in nutrition. Now listen to part of a lecture on the topic you just read about. For decades, companies have been irradiating various food products. They claim that doing so kills pathogens and makes food take longer to spoil. But there's widespread belief among consumers that irradiated food can be harmful. I must admit that I understand why they feel that way. For instance, one supposed advantage of irradiating food is that it kills any pathogens in it. Well, it's actually impossible to know if they're all killed. Even if just, say, 1% of those pathogens survive, they're likely to be super resistant to irradiation. And, uh... They might reproduce more pathogens with similar resistance. You know, that's similar to how some viruses have developed strains resistant to antibodies. If some pathogens develop a resistance to radiation, we might do more harm than good by irradiating our food. Now, um, irradiation definitely can slow down how quickly some foods spoil, but it can actually cause the ripening process to halt. Take bananas as an example. Farmers often pick green bananas and ship them to market. By the time the bananas reach the supermarket, they're yellow and ripe. But when some green bananas get irradiated, they stop ripening. Who's going to eat green bananas? They aren't ripe, don't taste good, and lack vitamins and minerals. Oh, that's another thing I should mention. Don't believe those studies claiming that irradiated food loses none of its nutritional value. Some scientists conducting research have determined that some foods may lose nutrients during the irradiation process. Additionally, other scientists believe that storing food for longer than nature typically allows it to stay good before spoiling uh, reduces its nutritional value. So, sure, you can drink milk that's been on the shelf for longer, but it might not be as good for you as fresh milk is. Directions You have 20 minutes to plan and write your response. Your response will be judged on the quality of your writing and on how well you present the points in the lecture and their relationship to the reading passage. An effective response will typically be 150 to 225 words. Question. Summarize the points made in the lecture you just heard, explaining how they cast doubt on the points made in the reading passage. Response time, 20 minutes. 
Sample summary. The lecturer argues that food irradiation may have a harmful impact on the human body. This directly refutes the reading passages claim that irradiation is an effective means to allow the storage of food for a longer period of time. First, food irradiation may not get rid of all the bacteria present. The surviving pathogens will become resistant to radiation and will pass along a similar resistance to their offspring. This contradicts the reading passages claim that food irradiation is an efficient way of sterilizing pathogens since it kills bacteria, the main culprit behind food spoilage. On top of that, the lecturer contends that food irradiation may prevent food from ripening. She gives an example of green bananas that are subject to irradiation. The ripening process for those bananas stops, resulting in a lack of vitamins and minerals as well as an unsatisfying taste. This rebuts the reading passages claim that irradiation makes the long-distance delivery of food possible because it delays the process of deterioration. Finally. It is possible that nutritional value may be lost during the process of irradiation. Though the expiration period for food may be extended, it is likely that the nutrients would be destroyed. Hence, it is much better to drink fresh milk than to drink irradiated milk that is kept for a longer period of time. This challenge is the idea presented in the reading passage that nutritional losses are rarely found in irradiated food since the vitamins and minerals remain the same while bacteria are successfully removed.